Today, I'm gonna be setting up and decorating for the first week of January in my wellness planner. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new, welcome. My name is Tracy and I am a girl with plans. Guys, it is time for a plan with me and we are kicking it off with my physical wellness planner. So in this particular section of the planner, I track my exercise as well as just my overall mental wellness where I do symptoms and things like that. This is the first time that I've actually put them together. <laughs> and because I inserted the page, I am using it front and back instead of a two page spread. So decorating is gonna be fun. I'm probably not gonna be changing the way I set this up. I did use this particular layout for my wellness last year. This is the Happy Planner Recovery layout. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing. You'll see how I did it. Obviously it's gonna be a little bit different because I'm decorating front and back. So the decorations will be different, but the actual setup is gonna be the same. I am not gonna do anything with my meal planning pages, which if you did not catch my goal setting page for my fitness and wellness, then you might have missed that I did add a section to the back of well, not really to the back of the planner, but to actually each week, I added a one page from an outdated vertical planner. So again, I'm using front and back, and this is where I'm going to write down my meals. So basically what I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I will also include snacks wherever I eat them. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I figured this would be good not only so that way I can later take this information and put it into either my fitness pal or another type of meal tracking application to get my macros but it'll also be good when I'm like reviewing any types of mood or symptom or energy changes I can kind of look at my food intake and see if that was the culprit all right guys so we gotta take all this out this is like such a big section <laughs> like this is everything I have to take out each and every week <laughs> now I have a lot of stuff on my desk because I wasn't sure how I'm actually going to be doing this. So I have used the fitness layout before and I've all, you know, more recently I've used the wellness layout, not necessarily for fitness planning, but for other types. But my overall tracking for fitness has changed. So even though I had used this previously, I'm going to be using it a little bit differently now. So I still got to figure things out. So I got highlighters. I have the sticker book I'm going to be using. And then I have the stickers that I made myself and printed in on the Cricut. So I have my Apple Watch stat stickers. So I have these. Um, I'm, I don't love these. Um, they're a little blurred, but I still might use them. And then I have these, which are my favorite. I did do a video, I believe it was in October, where I went over how I created this. Basically, I did it in Microsoft Office. And I use a text box and shapes <laughs> and put everything in a table. That's how I like create multiple versions of it. It's just easier for me in a table. But I do have a how-to video on how I did that. If I can remember, I will link that in the description. And I also have my little titles that I use for my wellness planner. And you'll see more about that when I get to that particular section. So because I'm not sure how I'm going to actually lay this out, I think I'm going to start with the decorating. Because um, the only thing I am going to track in here is I'm going to track, obviously, I already talked about my macros. So we will be tracking my macros in here as long as I remember to put all that information <laughs> into an app to get the macros out. So we'll be tracking my macros. We'll be tracking the specifics of my workouts. So if I'm doing strength training, I like to list the exercises I did during that strength training workout and the size of weights I used. If it is a cardio workout and I have any type of metrics that came from it, then I will include that information as well. Um, not all of my cardio equipment has like the screens attached. So like my cycle, my spin bike, I, I don't have any metrics for that. Um, so yeah, but I'll write some notes about it just to kind of fill it in. But I actually keep track of the exercise I did, just the title of the workout on my calendar. All right, I also pulled some dating sheets and some headers because I'm going to have to change all of that too. Fun, fun. There's going to be a lot of stuff I need to do. 
All right, so I'm going to be using the Retro Holidays book. This is a sticker book I picked up from Live Love Posh. I am an affiliate for Live Love Posh. I will have my discount code as well as the link down in the description box. My discount code will save you 10%. So these are super cute and they're colorful and this is colorful. So this year I will probably be doing a lot of colorful spreads. There probably will not be any black and white spreads while I'm using this particular planner because it's just so darn colorful. But we are going to just sticker it up. And I think I'm going to transfer some of these stickers to some of the other pages. Oh, now I got to figure out how I'm going to do this. <laughs> All right. So, I can do the top, I can do the bottom, huh. already coming up with like hitting a roadblock, hitting a roadblock. because I'm thinking this area down here might be a good area for exercise and then I can put my macros here so then I can decorate there. But I do have Apple Watch stickers. <laughs> and I'm saying that maybe, wait, hold up, hold up. I just had an idea. do something like this. I'm going to cut off some of the sticker and then we'll do this one down here. Whoop! Because I have the Apple Watch stat stickers, it's fine because it's a sticker that I'm putting over it. So I'm not losing any of my writing space. Now, I do plan on working out regularly. Where do I do my scissors? Oh, I need to clean them. Um, <laughs> all right. So, yes, I do plan on working out regularly. I have been working out fairly consistent for December. I wanted to get back into it. I wasn't working out as hard. I was trying to ease my way back into it because I had been so inconsistent, um, I would say, since about August that I didn't want to go, like, full throttle. <laughs> So I've been easing my way back into it, but when it comes to days that I even don't, that I don't even work out, I still do my Apple Watch stat stickers. So those get done regardless. All right. I guess we should put the happy new year where there is, where, you know, because on a Monday, because it is the new year. All right, so we'll put that there. It feels weird. I do decorate a lot of times first, but it kind of feels a little bit weird. Oh, I don't know if we should, should we put like drinks? I don't think we should put drinks down. <laughs> you should, if I don't know if you've seen any of my December plan with me's. I did a few December plan with me's early in the, um, early in the month of December. And it ended up being like so many like sweets. <laughs> One of them was like all candies and sweets and another one was all baking stuff. It was just funny. I like specifically did pick those um, from like the Live Love Posh chic Christmas sticker book. Like I picked them just because I thought it was, it was just, <laughs> it was just fun to put in my fitness planner all of these like <laughs> sweet treats. And yes, I did have a lot of sweet treats. I'm not going to lie. Now, I'm going to put habit trackers over here. I did not pull any, so I'm going to have to grab some. But I have more than enough habit trackers. Okay. I need to figure out how I'm going to hide these. Because... I don't know. I just feel like 
So this one's gonna hide this. And I'm just gonna do one sticker for workouts. I don't think I need a sticker for my Apple Watch stats. Like if I do exercise here, you'll know this whole section is exercise, which actually now that I look at it makes sense because the colors are very similar. So yes, um, my fitness tracking has been a little bit of a trial and error type thing. Um, so I have been fitness tracking for years. I mean, four years, um, probably for about almost 10 years now in some way, shape or form. And I've been doing it for the Happy Planner probably close to 10 years as far as fitness tracking. Obviously, I did not have a planner account or anything like that, and I don't even have the planner. So, unfortunately, I can't even look at it to see um, <laughs> how I decorated or anything like that. But I, um, oh, let's see when I get these real quick. But over the course of the years, yes, I have been kind of changing the things I track and how I track them. So I don't plan in my planner. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to do some sort of planning. So I'm filming this a little bit early. I'm filming this a few days before the weekend. So <clears throat> I have some time left, but I'm going to sit down and plan out kind of the things I'm thinking about when it comes to working out. Um, but I'm going to keep them on a half sheet. But as far as my goals go, like I did say goals, which I, you know, I will link that video down as well in the description below. But when it comes to goals... All right, there is a disco ball. <laughs> For some reason, I'm kind of like, oh, there is a disco ball. And I feel like we need a disco ball. But um, <laughs> now I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> oh, um, when it comes to like figuring out what workouts I'm going to do, like on my, so for like my goals, I definitely want to do a minimum of three strength trainings a week. So I am going to kind of look, basically my workouts are going to be determined by what I do that Sunday. <laughs> if I do weights that Sunday, then obviously I'm going to probably start the Monday by either doing the opposite body part, unless it was a full body or something like that. <laughs> All right. I hope I didn't. Okay, so I still have plenty of fireworks left that I can use on some of my other ones. We'll do the Hello 2024. All right, we're going to take a quick break from throwing stickers down. Now that I've kind of determined that that's where I'm going to be decorating, I'm going to go ahead and put these date stickers down because this is an undated planner. So this just came from the Paper Studios. They have a sticker book that is perfect for redating. Um, and the reason why I say it's perfect because I do like some of the Happy Planner ones better, but it's like $8.99 as long as they haven't changed the price because I did notice that there was like other types of sticker books that were like $17.99, but it's $8.99. And if you are familiar with Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby throws the Paper Studio, as well as Happy Planner, on sale <laughs> every other week. So you get an additional 40% off of that $8.99. I don't think I would pay $17.99 for it if, it if it's gone up or if it goes up. I don't know how they determine which books are the $17.99 books and which books are the $8.99 books. <laughs> Sometimes I've seen the same book have two different prices on it madness okay super super fun all right let's see here so i've covered i just need to put something there but we'll deal with that later all right so i do have these i can use i'm almost feeling, feeling like i should use these although there's no green hmm now we're just gonna use these i just like these so much better
like I said, I always fill these out because, you know, my Apple Watch keeps, you know, keeps it, you know, always saved on there so I can kind of see it. If I forget to fill in stuff every few days, I can come back and fill this in. But I'm hoping because I'm tracking so much stuff in here now that I am actually <laughs> in these planners a little bit more. And when I work out, I do a good job of, you know, filling in the planners and things like that. It's usually when I get in a rut and then I go work out and I really like do a crappy workout that I don't always do the best. So. Oops. Okay. I think we are coming to that part where it's like, okay, Tracy, calm down. I feel like I still need something there. <clears throat> Maybe we'll do... Hmm, I don't know that they fit. We'll do that. I need to cover that up with something, but I don't really see anything... All right, all right, function, function, function. Okay, so I guess we'll do the orange here. Hmm. All right, that covered it up. <clears throat> because this is so light that you, it just, you couldn't really see what it was. So we'll, hopefully I can get through. All right, how am I gonna do this? Am I gonna do it like this? I guess I'll just do it like that. And then I have these workout ones. Hmm, I can't see it. Let me see if I have a paper one, because I know I do somewhere. Or we just have this pink one, here we go. <laughs> there we go. I don't really need headers, I know it's gonna be here, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so, if you guys had caught any of my recent Plan With Me's, which I keep saying over and over, I have been using highlighters more and more, so I think I'm gonna to continue to use them. And I'm just gonna use these for carbs, fats, and proteins. All right, guys, so with that done, now I'm gonna add my habit trackers. So on my goals page, I'm tracking my vitamins and my steps. So on this page, I'm gonna track my other goals. All right. So my met my staying goal, no gluten and less than one serving of dairy. I have another one I wouldn't mind tracking. I don't necessarily need to track a lot of my workouts because I'll see what I did, especially on my monthly calendar, as far as whether it's strength or not. So we'll do that. I'm thinking I need a couple more stickers. I feel like I need something here too. So I think I'm gonna just use some of these bullet points here. All right, guys, there we go. So that is my fitness spread. I did write carbs, protein, and fat. I think what I'm going to do is once I decide how I'm going to do everything, I'll probably just make my own headers for that. Um, and I'll probably just have the C, the P, and the F over here. So that way I don't even have to write it. Or I might make some more of these. I don't know. I did that before and I kind of liked it because I put my goal, like my, pro, my uh, macro goal on there. But yeah. All right. Next pages. I got to speed this up. 
All right, I'm not going to decorate this stuff. But I know for dinner, my four dinners are already done. So Tuesday through Friday is Blue Apron. Because I put in an order for that. I'm going to have to finish this off camera. But for the most part, I'm probably going to do good old boiled eggs for breakfast. <laughs> Maybe with a fruit, I'll do a smoothie. For lunch. I don't know. I gotta figure that out. <laughs> I'm not good at meal planning y'all. So that's like the basics. Okay. I don't know why they don't have a snack list. Like I don't need a dessert. I think I'm gonna change this to snack. I don't do desserts. Okay. So here is the other page that I really have to set up. Let's go ahead. This is so weird doing it front and back. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> Let's first pull out this sheet. And this is where, so these are the things that I track. And because I track them, this is how I do my weekly summary. So I track them on a daily basis if they need to be tracked. If there's anything to write, I write about it. If not, I just don't say anything about it. I ignore it, pretend it's not there. <laughs> So it's stress and anxiety. Let's see, weekly mood. Energy trends. So did I have a low energy the whole week? Did I have most of my energy up and down? Sleep patterns. And then the final one over here is weekly eating habits. Okay. And then on this side, I'm still having problems remembering. Okay, and this side I'm gonna have symptoms, but I need to put a sticker or something there. All right, so. Let's just take all of this out. So hard to decorate. So this is what you're mainly gonna see. So let's make sure to put some cute stuff over here. And then I can pull symptoms. I talked about during setup. I wasn't sure if I was going to do it, but I think I am. Um, I'm going to be toying around what I'm going to be doing. I think, oh, I got to date this too. I forgot about that. <laughs> I completely forgot about having to date this. All right, you guys. So I didn't do any of the meal planning or anything like that because I wanted to get this video up on Friday. And because I do want to continue putting these videos out on Friday of the week prior to when I'm doing them, um, I do think that I probably will not be doing meal planning on camera just because I usually do them on Friday nights and I go to the grocery store either on Saturday or Sunday mornings. So yeah. But this is it. So this is the Happy Planner Fitness layout. And I did redate, like I said, and then I use stickers 
from the Retro Holiday sticker book, which I will have linked up down below along with the discount code. I really liked how this turned out. Like I said, I'm going to record my macros here. I'm going to record information about my workout here. And then here is where my Apple Stats trackers are. And that's where, I, you know, I created these myself. And then here are habit trackers for my stand goal, no gluten, and less than one serving of dairy. Um, and here is my wellness planner <laughs> um, where I'm going to be tracking my mood, my energy, my symptoms, and things like that. If you have seen any of my other ones, you know that I usually put like boxes or bullet points here to track my mood three times a day. Um, I guess I could go ahead and do that. Oh, I didn't do the seventh. <laughs> I don't like how these numbers are. There were so many blue ones and not enough of the purple. It was kind of strange. But I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to just use the, the orange. Here we say the purple. And I think I'm going to just do three dots here. I don't think I need the stencil. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's why we're right. My three energy levels for morning, midday. Well, when I say morning, it's more like, well, yeah, I guess it is morning, like shortly upon wake up, like once I actually get moving. Um, so not laying in bed, wake up, but like once I get started with my day, wake up. <laughs> so morning, midday, and then not necessarily bedtime. I kind of do it between evening and bedtime. And then here is where I kind of do my weekly summaries. So I will just write like if I ate, I kind of give you the example of my energy trend. Same thing with stress and anxiety. If it was a super stressful week, then I will note that down. If my anxiety was kind of all over the place or if it was non-existent. If I, would, if I had an easy week, I'll just note that here. These, believe it or not, I don't really write that much down <laughs> um, because it is here. And a lot of times it's kind of self-explanatory and it's really hard to put into words. Here's where I usually write some self-care activities, but I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. I still got to figure it out and I still need to figure out what I'm going to track here. So I've been toying around with some different things, but I definitely want to, I'm already tracking my vitamins on my goals page. So like here, but let's track meditate. Look at that. Digital detox. Five minutes plus. That looks like five minutes. Whatever. Um, <laughs> um, and I don't know what the last one's going to be yet. But I will mark it off. And again, it's all going to be kind of more due to my wellness. So there you have it, y'all. So yeah, I did two spreads. Um, once I get the hang of it and once I figure out exactly how I'm going to utilize it, I need to get into this planner to figure out how it's going to best work for me. I'm hoping these plan with me's will go a little bit smoother, but I am excited to actually start filling it out. I think it's going to be fun. And I will be doing some like monthly reflections when it comes to my fitness and wellness. And I will be doing some flip throughs in this particular planner. And I think... Yeah, I'm actually going to be using their quote unquote currently page because this one is where I'm going to be doing my monthly reflection. So for the first time like ever, I think I'm actually going to be using it. <laughs> All right, guys, there we go. So that is my first January first weekly setup for 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you were not too confused by what was going on, as confused as I was. But um, yeah, thank you for sticking around. And if you enjoyed it, please press that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And that is all I have for now. I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or night. Until next time. <laughs> Bye.